Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here with another MLG Pro Spots video, and we're going to be taking a look at the map Infection. So to start things off from this brick wall spawn, you're going to want to take a right and hop up on these hay bales, and you have a very good view of the players running out of the spawn, and this tree also gives you really good cover, and no one is going to see you there, so that's a really good spot if you're going to be spawn trapping on this side of the map. Next up from the same spawn, you want to run straight, and you can hop up on these hay bales, and use these barrels as a head glitch to pick off some of the people that may run from the left side of the map, and if you get into trouble, you can go into crouch mode. Now if you are coming from the opposite side, you can also hop up on the barrels and use them as a head glitch as well. And if you get into trouble there, you can always fake them out by going around this little building right here with the wall run and uh, take them up from behind. Now on the map Infection, there's these two little mini tanks. You're going to see them on screen right now. There's one on this side of the map and another in the opposite spawn. We'll check out the other one in a second. But for the one on this side, you can hop inside and crouch. And it's going to give you guys a really nice head glitch in the middle of the map. And what's really cool about these tanks is bullets cannot penetrate them. So if uh, you get caught in a gunfight, you can always go prone and let them waste their ammo trying to shoot you through this little tank because they're not going to be able to get one bullet through it and when the time's right stand up and take them out next up i have a really cool line of sight for you guys so a lot of people like to rush or head glitch inside the barn here so what you can do is go prone by this little wall here and you have a really good view on the people that might rush you or maybe using the stack of wood as a head glitch i really like this spot a lot because it catches a lot of people off guard but uh, if you're playing search and destroy you might want to be careful of this spot because there is a bomb here so if uh, the team tries to rush you from that side then you got to be careful but for game modes like Domination, it's a very good spot, so I recommend using that line of sight a lot. And moving on to the second tank, same thing, hop inside. And I like to look through this little crack here, and if anyone runs past me, I'll come up and spray them down. But again, the bullets won't penetrate this tank, so use that to your advantage. But when I'm playing Search and Destroy on this map, I like to stay around this area with the floating rocks here. It doesn't matter if I'm offense or defense, but uh, I like to sit around here and pick off anyone that runs past me. And uh, if we have the bomb planted at B, I'll sit back either on this rock here and watch the entrance, or I'll jump up on these little ledges right here and watch the flank but if you're gonna be staying on this side you have to check the bomb a couple of times so I recommend using this tactic when you're playing SND it's a very good side I really do like this side a lot of the map so if uh, you play SND with me I'm gonna be staying on this side of the map for the majority of the time so that's pretty much it guys there's a lot of little head glitches on this map so be careful of that if you plan on rushing I like to use an assault rifle when I'm playing on this map again because there are little head glitches and it makes it a lot easier to pick off some of those people that might be head glitching uh, than it would be than using an SMG or uh, stuff like that so Again, guys, let me know what y'all think about the map infection down in the comments. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And subscribe for the greatest Call of Duty Black Ops 3 videos. Thank you for watching. Mine is averts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later.